You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heaven's is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Wednesday, the 15th day of November 2023, and our topic for today is Benefits of Holiness, Part 2. Let us pray. Our dear Father and our God, we worship and we bless your name, the great monarch of Zion, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Holy One of Israel. We thank you for the privilege to be gathered before you again. We ask, O Lord, that one more time you speak your word to us. We open our hearts ready to receive. We ask that you would also shower upon us the grace for holy living. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Psalm 75 verse 10. Psalm 75 verse 10 reads, All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Psalm 75 verse 10 Our text for today is from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 from verse 6 to 8. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 6 to 8 reads, For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day, and not me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. 2 Timothy chapter 4, from verse 6 to 8. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is Benefits of Holiness, part 2. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says, we will progress in our study of the benefits of living holy today as we look at how holiness can help you fulfill destiny. Nothing can stop you from fulfilling your destiny if you live a holy life. Let us consider Joseph. God revealed it to Joseph in Genesis chapter 37 verse 5 to 10 that he had a great destiny to fulfill. His brothers envied him, sold him into slavery, and he found himself in the house of a rich man called Potiphar, whose wife wanted to sleep with him. Joseph refused because he did not want to do anything to offend God. Genesis chapter 39 verse 9 He remained holy, and at the end of the day, impossible as his dreams seemed, he fulfilled them. One major thing that has kept me holy is the fact that I know it is only God who can help me fulfill my dreams. If you really want to fulfill your dreams, then you must live holy. If God himself gave you a destiny to fulfill, then you can be sure he is on your side, willing to help you fulfill that destiny. Romans chapter 8 verse 31 says, If God be for you, who can be against you? Even the devil dares not. The only fellow who can be against you is yourself. When you start sinning, God will turn away from you and then the devil will come in to ensure that you don't fulfill that destiny. King Saul was destined to be a great king and God was on his side until he started to sin. God took his spirit from him and sent a tormenting spirit to him instead. In the end, he failed in his destiny. Do you want to fulfill your destiny? Live holy. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9 says, Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. If you want to be great, if you know that you need the anointing that will raise you above your fellows, if you want to receive a crown of righteousness, at the end of your race here on earth, 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8, then you must love righteousness and hate iniquity. There are many people I have come across with great destinies. 
They started well, but somewhere along the line began to commit sin and thus never fulfilled that great purpose for which God created them. Beloved, if you love yourself at all, you will stop committing sins and start living holy. That is the only way you can fulfill God's plan for your life. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is Benefits of Holiness Part 2. Yesterday we saw the part 1 of this topic and from that study we learned one of the benefits of holiness to be that you become untouchable to the devil. We saw from our study yesterday that the devil tried to kill Daniel by throwing him into a den of lions. However, because innocence was found in him, he was preserved. We saw also that our Lord Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14 verse 30 that the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. The enemy could do our Lord Jesus no harm because no guilt was found in him. In conclusion of yesterday's study, our Father and the Lord said that if there is sin in your life, the devil can harm you. But when you live a holy life in Jesus, he cannot touch you. Hallelujah. Today, as we study the second part of the topic, Benefits of Holiness, our Father and the Lord tells us today that one of the benefits of holiness is that holiness can help you fulfill destiny. Hallelujah. Scripture makes us understand from Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 that God already has a plan for us. It reads there that before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Hallelujah. For every one of us, God has a divine plan. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 also tells us, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. It says to give you an expected end. So God has seen the end from the beginning and he sees our glorious future. However, we learn from our study today that ignoring to live a life of holiness can actually thwart that divine plan that God has for you. It is true that he intends the best for you. However, never forget also that unholiness can truncate great destinies. We see from our study today that running away from sin is not weakness. In fact, if you sincerely desire to fulfill destiny, then you must not only avoid sin, but like Joseph, you must run away from it. Joseph did not see the chance to sleep with his master's wife as an opportunity. In his response to Potiphar's wife, he refers to it as great wickedness and sin against God. In today's study, our Father and the Lord also mentions that one major thing that has kept him holy is the fact that he knows it is only God that can help him fulfill his dreams. This understanding is also very important to us today, knowing that our success lies with God and He is the only one who can help us achieve it. Now what that means by implication is that if He must be the one to help you, then you must ensure not to displease Him by living a life of sin. He is the greatest partner you can have on your journey to a successful and purposeful life. He is your greatest ally. It is often said that one with God is the majority. When you partner with God, you are the majority. You are the one with the advantage. We learn from our study today that holiness will let God to be for you. And what that means is that no one can stand against you. That is why Romans chapter 8 verse 31 asks, If God be for us, who can be against us? The answer is nobody. Also, do not forget that God is the one who has our life planned out. He's the one who is in the best place to help us execute it. If you should choose a life of sin and think that you can handle it by yourself, you may end up making a big mess of life. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and appreciate the Lord, thank Him for the gift of life. Appreciate Him also for the plans and the thoughts that He thinks towards us, to give us an expected end, to give us a hope and a future. His thoughts towards us are always good. Say, Father, we are grateful. 
receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. We have learned from our study today the benefit of holiness, that holiness can help us fulfill destiny. Call upon the Lord today for grace. Ask him, say, Father, grant us the grace today for holiness in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for a renewed desire to live holy. Ask him to please flood our hearts with that desire and hunger to only do that which would please him, to only do that which gives him glory in the name of Jesus. We also learned from our study today that God is able to partner with us for a glorious future. Why not invite the Lord today? Say, Father, come and walk with me through this journey of destiny in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today to hold your hands. Say, Father, lead me today. Help me to partner with you in holiness to bring about the good and perfect plans that you have for me. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, come and be my greatest ally. Help me not to trust in myself. Help me not to trust in the arm of flesh. Help me also not to give in to sin. Help me not to give in to any form of unholiness in the name of Jesus. We learned from our study today that if God be for you, no one can stand against you. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, come and be for us. Also ask the Lord today, say, Father, whatever it is that would make you not to be for us, whatever it is that we may even be involved with at the moment, that would, instead of making you our ally, would turn you against us, say, Father, please separate us from every of such things in the name of Jesus. Let there be a disconnect and let there be an end to every of such associations in the name of Jesus. As we also continue in holiness, why not ask the Lord, say, Father, please grant unto me the spirit that would raise me above my fellows in the name of Jesus, that anointing that would make me extraordinary, that anointing that would make me to be outstanding and to stand out. Please grant unto me in the name of Jesus, the anointing for greatness, the anointing for excellence, the anointing to be and to remain at the top always. Let it be granted unto me today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Redeemer, we thank you for today's word. Thank you because we have renewed hunger and passion for holiness. We ask, O oh Lord, that as you continue to grant us the grace, you would help us, Lord, to fulfill the great destinies that you have for us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have an action point in today's study that tells us love righteousness and hate iniquity. We receive the grace today to love righteousness in the open and in the secret all the days of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. We also have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Acts chapter 10 down to chapter 11. We want to sincerely appreciate you and thank you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 11 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, I have found a friend in Jesus. Have a blessed day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. We love you and bye for now. Star is the fairest of
I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.